Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we celebrate uh, St. Patrick this week, our patron. Uh, what a joy to be able to uh, reflect on on this great saint uh, is, is, our, uh, is our patron and our model. Uh, in Ireland, uh, St. Patrick is uh, obviously a person of great note and, and importance. And one of the central uh, places in Ireland that gives, uh, gives uh, you know, honor to him is this place called Cropatrick. It's uh, the second largest uh, mountain in Ireland. It sits there right on the west coast looking out to the sea on Clue Bay. Uh, it's the place where St. Patrick, uh, when he came back to Ireland after having escaped uh, his, uh, his uh, bondage and slavery there on the Isle, uh, and he, he made his way back to England, and, and he finally had this, this moment where the Lord said, you know, I want you to go back. Uh, you, you came home to uh, kind of be formed once again in your uh, Catholic faith, but now I want you to go back and share that faith. And so one of the first things he did when he went back is to go and climb that mountain uh, there in that uh, misty, cold, uh, uh, wintry season and spend 40 days praying for the people of Ireland and for the conversion that he wanted them so much to have, uh, to, to kind of leave behind their old ways and, and these these old uh, gods of, uh, of pagandom and to aspire to, to the greatness that the Lord was calling them to in a relationship with him. And so uh, I had an opportunity uh, to climb Cropatrick when I was there once. And it's a long, arduous climb, it takes the better part of a morning. And it was a, it was a misty, cloudy, cool day. And climbing all the way up, it was hard and arduous. And, and I had brought a, a, a knapsack with uh, my mask kit. And I, I finally got to the top, and, and uh, there's a little chapel up there where you can, can offer mass, but it was locked. And so I thought, well, I'll just do probably what St. Patrick did. Uh, I'll build my own altar. And, and so there are a lot of rocks up there on the top, and I took some and I made an altar, uh, maybe just about a foot high, and uh, there on the ground, and, and I began to set up my mass kit. Well, there were a lot of people up there, and the group came up and said, can we, can we uh, are you, are you going to say Mass, or can we attend Mass with you? And I said, well, cer certainly. And I said, uh, are, are you able to receive communion? And they said, well, it's been a long time. I said, tell you what, why don't I hear some confessions, and, and then, we can, uh, then we can have Mass together. And it just so happened that this Catholic family who was there, uh, they were there uh, uh, as, a, as a last kind of request of their, of their uh, wife and mother who had just died. And she said, I want you to go back to my home and, and I want you to pray for me. And so they had gone to Kilpatrick and they were praying for their, for their recently deceased wife and mother. And, and so we offered mass for her. I heard their confessions. We had this beautiful mass. And just then at that moment, uh, the, the, the clouds cleared and the sun came out and it was this glorious, beautiful morning uh, where we got to celebrate the Mass, pray together, honor the dead, and, 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 and in, a, in a certain way, through the Mass and, and the sacraments, kind of revitalize the faith of that family. And I, it, I reflected on it, what St. Patrick had done all those centuries earlier to climb that mountain, to, to offer prayers for the people. Uh, we were doing that morning. We had climbed the mountain. We were offering prayers for that family, for their, their deceased wife and mother. Uh, but for all the people that we knew, and somewhere there in the faith of St. Patrick, in the, in the, in the, the great uh, uh, tradition of our faith, is, is, is the answer to all that ails us, all the, the, the things that we, that we need, is, is, is the Lord and, and the gifts that he gives to us in our daily lives, through the church, through the sacraments, uh, through our family of faith. And so uh, during this week of uh, St. Patrick, when we honor our patron, uh, let's, uh, let's offer uh, in our prayers and at the Mass all of our intentions, especially the intentions for the faith of our family, praying also for all those members of our families who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. God bless you.